You thought I was the biggest dummy around? Meet Max, and welcome back to OG's Danger Show. Welcome back, original gangsters. OG out here with you. It just stopped raining. It's very windy out here. I hope the audio is coming through. But I wanted to show you a cool little uh, little toy that arrived in the mail yesterday. We don't have a name for him yet. Not a formal name anyway. This guy is 100% made possible by the donors over on Patreon. So if you're not already a donor, I very much appreciate your help. But it was patrons that basically paid for a rubber dummy. These things are a very cool little training aid. I've been wanting one for a long time but I uh, never really got around to it. And I was kind of stuck with the old staple and a paper plate to a fence post. This is way better. Rubber dummy targets are made from a very, very thick, heavy duty rubber. It can absorb thousands of rounds, tens of thousands of rounds over its lifetime. This guy alone, just the rubber half of this guy, not even counting the stand, this guy's probably about 50 pounds, maybe even a little heavier. And you add on a, the steel work down there on the stand and he's a heavy little package, but fortunately he comes apart and is very easy to tote around. I took him apart, threw him in the back of my truck and drove him down here to the abandoned cartel runway to uh, give him his virgin shots. You'll notice the reinforced neck and the cavity in the back of the head that contains a secret surprise I'll show you in just a second. Rubber dummies come in a big giant single box, one cardboard box. I, real, I really feel sorry for the mail guy who had to deliver this to my door. Came home from work yesterday and found this guy waiting there by the front door. They come out of the box already painted white. Maybe you can see why. The natural material on them is pretty black. You might not want a target coming out of the box that way. So they paint them white for you. However, this guy was a little scuffed up from the packaging, from the shipping. They include a handy can of white primer paint. This works best because it dries quickly and it flakes off. And I'll show you why in just a second. Also in the box, a little package of kill shot. These are little packets of red spray, basically. And these little packets of red spray are designed to be mounted here in the little hole behind his head. This 10 pack of kill shot is ready to go right out of the box. Comes with thumbtacks, gives you 10 of these little packets. So they're ba basically ready to come right out of the box and go right on your target. Now, of course, this is kind of a gimmick. This is just for range fun. There's only 10 of them and the OG is not going to be ordering anymore. But uh, we'll use it out here while we got them today and to see this wind carry away that, uh, that red cloud of mist if we hit him in the face. Now these rubber dummies, as they come out of the box, even the generation one rubber dummies, which were a lot thinner, are rated for thousands of rounds. There's guys online who've shot tens of thousands of rounds through their rubber dummies, all different calibers, and they're still rocking and rolling today. The Rubber Dummy Corporation mentions that you shouldn't use hollow point ammunition because duh, hollow point's gonna carve out big chunks of this rubber and you're gonna degrade your rubber dummy a lot faster than if you use the recommended ball ammunition. You can shoot rifle ammo through your rubber dummy and I've even seen a video recently where my boys over at Alabama Arsenal put 50 caliber rounds through him with no negative effects. He held up. Out here with me today, I have nine millimeter ball ammunition shot from a Glock 19. I also have 5.56 soft tip, lead soft tip ammunition uh, that we're gonna fire out of an AR-15. It's all I happen to have with me today. I don't think it's gonna tear him up too bad, but I wanna see what those two different kinds of rounds, probably the most common rounds I train with, are gonna do to this rubber dummy. 
Really the purpose for being out here today is to introduce you to the dummy. I also wanted to get that rifle sighted in again. I used it recently in a different project and I wanted to make sure it's sighted in because it is kind of my home defense rifle as well as this Glock 19, sort of what I've been carrying mostly. So I want to uh, definitely confirm zero on both of those weapons. Cool little story. I put this guy together in my living room last night. Then I left to go run some errands around town. Knowing that Mrs. OG was coming home from work, I set him up with a t-shirt on inside the front door uh, just a little bit to the left. Then I also find out that my older daughter came home last night too. When I got home, I got a cool report that both of them shrieked as they walked in the door and saw our rubber dummy standing there with a t-shirt on and a ball cap. Uh-oh, sorry. Let's paint this guy up first with a little bit of white primer paint. As soon as it dries, we're gonna shoot him with some rounds so you see what those rounds do through his natural material. But I plan on probably shooting this guy mostly with clothing. You can drape a t-shirt over this guy because he's nice and thick. Put a ball cap on him for a little bit more realistic training. And he's a little bit taller than I am, but not nearly as good looking. While we're loading up some magazines, OG's Danger Show now has merch, bitches. Nobody's coming. It's up to you. Yut. Helpful tip from your Uncle OG, always insert, tap and tug, press check, make sure you got a live round in there before you go out on the road. Okay, first rounds into the rubber dummy. Hit exactly where I wanted to. Barely a little mark where the nine millimeter holes passed on through. They chipped the white paint. That's what they're designed to do. So you can see your hits. Two rounds, center mass, awesome. I'm gonna flip them around here for you so that you can see tiny, tiny little marks where they exited. So as you can see, it's very easy to see where I hit or where I missed. I like this. And of course, when I'm done, very easy to fix this target. I don't even have to take down a piece of paper and staple up a new one. It's even faster than that. All ready to go for Now, of course, this rubber dummy is not bulletproof. Everything that's going through him is going through him. So we always got to know our backstop. Make sure you don't just set him up next to your neighbor's house and start shooting. I happen to know that behind me, I've got about three miles of open ground, not a soul out there. So I know that whatever passes through him, although slowed down, will land out there safely and uh, not injure anybody. There you go, YouTube safety Nazis. few things better than a good workout, an empty Glock, a couple of empty magazines, and one dead bad guy. OG's Danger Show covert gear is available. If not, in the merch show below this video, over on Teespring, and I'll put the link to it in the description below this video. Get yours today and be invisible to hot chicks by tomorrow. So I need your help naming this guy. I put that out to my Patreons over there, and of course they're gonna get first dibs if you guys Think of something good. We've got Doug over on the Tau Fighter Mouse channel already. So it can't be Doug. This is definitely Doug's heavier cousin. I was thinking about naming him Maximilian Bojangles. True story. Years and years ago, I arrested a guy, took him to jail, and I asked him his 
AKAs, the other names that he's given other police officers in the past. He tells me, Maximilian Bojangles. I said, dude, you're drunk. I booked him in, wrote it down on the form, got back in my car, and when I ran his information, Maximilian Bojangles was on his record. It wasn't his real name, but he had given that to law enforcement somewhere in the past. So I like Maximilian Bojangles. We could call him Max. What do you guys think? You always should train with something covering your target. You don't always get to see those bullet holes. And we don't want to train ourselves to watch for bullet holes and gauge our success in shooting through those bullet holes. We shoot the threat until the threat goes down. It does not matter where those bullet holes are. If this guy turns around and runs out of the building, he is no longer a threat and I can't shoot him here. So we ought to train to shoot something where we can't see those bullet holes. We're gonna shoot until the threat stops. CGG Firearms to Larry California. Get some. Hey OG, how does this rubber dummy work with rifle rounds? Well, I'm glad you asked. Today with me, I've got an AR-15. I've got 62 grain soft tip uh, spear gold dots. Let's put some rounds into Max and see how he likes it. All right, a little rifle workout. Let's take a look at Max here. You can see there's definitely bullet holes in his t-shirt. I'll tell you what, as I was firing, I was not able to see these holes, nor was I able to see him jumping, moving, this shirt lurching around, nothing like uh, the old Hollywood movies. So rely on your bad guy falling to determine whether not to stop shooting. Up here, Max's face shows the rounds. We got a little round skipping down here under his chin. Tore off a little bit of rubber because of that angle. Hope we can repair that. But the rounds that hit him square on made little nick marks, but I tell you what, probably even less damage than the nine millimeter rounds made. Let's spin him around into the sunlight here. You can see those soft tip rounds, while not advisable, they take out a little more rubber here in the back. Look at the back of this t-shirt. That's pretty cool just ripped out the back of this t-shirt. All right, let's take it off and see what he looks like underneath. There's Max's uh, rounds. They all hit him right there, but almost no damage to that rubber dummy. Pretty, pretty dang cool. All right, gangsters, there it is. Me and Max got to head back into town. I just heard the vaccine's available at my local hospital for law enforcement. I'm going to swing by and grab some. Chug down a couple of cups of it. I hope you like this video. Just a quick little video to test out the cool little uh, rubber dummies target as well as zero in my primary defensive firearms at this time. You guys be safe out there. I will see you in the next video. If you are not already subscribed, please reach down and hit the subscribe button. Most of the people who watch these videos are not subscribers. Hit the subscribe button and help us out. Give the video a thumbs up. And if you choose to do so, we sure could use your support over on Patreon. The link is in the description below and we could definitely use your help to get a couple more toys like this, maybe even another rubber dummy so that uh, Max isn't all alone in the, the gun closet. We've also got a big thunderstorm coming in so OG's gonna pack it up and head out. You guys be safe out there. Stay armed where you are legally allowed to do so. These are crazy times. OG out.